Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Alishan Mo here, and welcome to more Hubson Zeno Mini Pro flight testing video. Now, in this video, I'm going to test some very newly released features that Hubson has just released that include a very important one that is temperature monitoring system, and it shows live temperature on your app uh, of your drone, uh, CPU, and battery. So you're always aware of your quadcopter or your drone temperature should it overheat anytime it will actually inform you now the second one is they uh, added the camera modes that is ordinary sunny and moir on off feature that they have uh, mentioned before that is gonna come very very soon apart from this in the app i have also seen that they have improved the image quality and they have taken notice of our feedback for uh like maybe it was jello maybe it was jitters shake bluish image yeah let's head out and put all these new features to test and see what has improved and what is good waiting for us in hubson xeno mini pro why i am not seeing those new features in my app though the app pushed an update itself and it shows me that those features have been released and i still cannot see them in the list if you are facing the same issue, there is a solution. For Android users, you have to manually update the app one more time. So go to your Google Play Store and click on your, you know, account icon on the top and you will see this. Click on manage your apps and then you will find in the list X Hubson 2.0 and you can download it. And you can see maybe uh, like a circular arrow that shows that you have to update. So do update it manually using your Google Play Store. Once you update it manually, you will have those new features shown in your app. So what I'm going to do is I chose this hot morning, bright, sunny day, you know, so we can check the camera, new camera modes like sunny, natural and see what difference does it make. And because it's going to be hot today, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the quadcopter and put it in the sun. Okay, now the quad is right there. I hope you can see it, but the DJI will actually, the DJI pocket will actually make it very, very bright there. But now what I want to do is leave it there for two minutes or so under the sun and see what is the temperature that is building up. So let's start the app quickly and see what is happening on the temperature monitoring system site. Okay, so quad has been connected to all the systems and my radio controller as well. I am running X Hepson 2.0 app. Okay, and I hope it doesn't push any new updates because, well, if it does, it's okay. I'll leave the quad right there under the sun. Okay, now I'm going to start recording my screen. Give me a moment. One, two, three, sync. Okay, now the app is uh, recording. Now the whole screen is recording and you can see that device status list. We have online preview of album videos, image tracking, creative video search, tarmac, CCD adjustment, time lapse photography, 48 megapixel shooting. These are to be released later. Creative, way, uh, creative videos and image tracking has been turned off once again by Hubsun because they are improving it. Hopefully they will release it with even better performance. Now newly added features are the function of photo album direct connection, quick upload and photo view, improve photo quality and solve the problem. Bluish image IQ, mm -hmm, nice. Add natural sunny and more of shooting images. Okay, shooting modes, optimize the accuracy of distance calculation, newly added temperature monitoring system. So now let me show you the temperature monitoring system. At the moment, quadcopter is sitting on the ground and if you can see on the bottom right, there is a yellow icon, CPU 54 degrees. And if you click it, you can see green, yellow, orange, red. Three, uh, four different levels of uh, uh, temperature monitoring, including the battery temperature, which shows 36 degrees. Now it's sitting, uh, in, a, in under the sun quadcopter right over there and you know I am talking here sitting here and talking and uh, temperature is rising now let's yes let me be honest if I keep it under the sun obviously temperature will keep rising let's take off and start shooting one video clip in 4k with uh, obstacle avoidance sensors on for one minute and see what happens to the temperature okay okay so 
I thought it's a good idea to actually wait a bit more. So it's like been two minutes or more I have been waiting with the quad in the sun. As you can see, it's right there. Okay, I did not move it. So please trust me, I'm not fixing anything here. So I thought it's a good idea to wait a little bit more under the sun. And it's been more than two minutes. And I can tell you the CPU temperature has risen to 71 degrees, but it's not overheating, okay? So now I'm gonna take off, turn on the obstacle avoidance, as I said before, and shoot in 4K. So let's just make sure we are in 4K. Hold on, uh, da da da. Sorry, my screen recording. Yeah, we are in 4K. So I'm gonna take off. No obstacle avoidance mode. Please fly with caution. And turn the quad to focus me. All right, right there. 75 degree on the CPU temperature. Force open the obstacle avoidance and record one clip in 4K. Now I'll keep on hovering it right there as you can see from the screenshot and see what happens to the temperature, CPU temperature. Let's see if I can bring it to red. Battery temperature is 53 degrees now. So I'll do a one minute recording and after that I will start flying it around, okay? While keeping the 4K 30 frames per second recording on, on the quadcopter. Okay, I'll just go around and see how things are doing. So while hovering, CPU temperature at the moment got on 85 degrees and holding. Come on, fly. Don't violate my privacy here. 86 degrees. Okay, it's been one minute, so let's start flying. Oh, come on, fly. Leave me alone. Now you can see CPU temperature is dropping because I'm flying, okay? And when you are flying, obviously it will drop. I see horizon crooked. So I'm just gonna stop here, hold on. And no, no, don't stop recording, please. Correct my horizon. And let's see if the gimbal auto corrects itself later uh, for the horizon. I believe it's auto correcting now itself and the horizon is going down there. So normally I wouldn't do this horizon correction because when you are doing yaw, somewhere you will find the horizon is, you know, getting tilted, but later uh, the quadcopter or the gimbal will auto correct itself, okay? Anyway, I'll just keep it right here and I'll go forward. CPU temperature has reached to 70 degree now. I mean, you can see that from the video and the screenshot, 69 degree and it's constantly dropping. So when you're flying, obviously, you know, it will keep cool. All right, so that was the CPU temperature test or temperature monitoring system test okay I will stop recording and one moment I will stop recording my screen as well now let me show you the other features and let's test them so starting the screen recording once again one two three sync and now if you go to let me bring the quad back and closer to me or I can just hover it here because we will take some pictures over the river and see if the bluish image is there or not. So I'm going to keep this frame, all right? And if you go to, uh, you know, video and you come here, you will see on top color, color, new color modes have been added, ordinary, sunny day and more off. So I'm keeping it on ordinary. Let's switch to photo, okay? and see we have the same options here. Ordinary color, okay? And I'm going to take a shot right here. Hold on. I feel my gimbal is adjusting itself slowly. 
So here we go. Um, ba -ba -bum. Let's take this shot, okay? Done. So that was an ordinary color shot. Now I'm gonna go and change it to sunny day. Oh, I see in the app. I see in the app. It's kind of something changed. It was visible, as you have noticed as well. Okay, took another picture. And I'm gonna go Moyer off. It's called Moyer or Moira. More, more. I have no idea. I, I'm not. If I'm not pronouncing it right, please excuse me. And I took a picture. So I took three pictures. Okay. And I'm going to do it one more time. Come to ordinary. Okay. And I'm going to turn the quad around towards these buildings. Okay and take a sh view of let me just go back a bit and higher take a view of uh, our rc airport that's the corner i'm sitting at and take our famous uh stadium in the view take a picture go to sunny day Take a picture. Go to Moire off, oh, which is already off. Okay. Oh no, I have to click on that Moire off. So take a picture. All right, now let's switch to video mode and see how it goes with all these. So ordinary, I'm gonna shoot a clip and rotate the quad towards the, uh, you know, river. Okay, keep an eye on the CPU temperature as well and see if it is rising or not. <clears throat> so I will rotate the camera just to the mountain. And stop. Okay. Now I'll do the same thing from this shot and come to. Oh, <clears throat> there's a cloud, man. Come to the sunny day. Record a clip and start rotating. Oh, slow down, slow down, don't rotate too fast. Pay attention to cinematics. Okay, good. And Now I'm gonna go more, more or more or more, sorry, whatever is off, okay? And shoot a clip and rotate. Oh, slow down. There are ants gathering around near my batteries. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. I would get up probably.
Okay, so this is this more off. Now, I'm gonna fly it a little bit and see if I get any difference in video quality while the more or more is off, okay? So let's just double check. And it says more off, all right? So shoot. Go up and backward. Obstacle avoidance is kicking in, people. So the sensors are detecting the wind even. Uh -huh. Come on, Hudson, you gotta do something about it. It scares us. If you're flying at 92 meters or 100 meters altitude and you get <laughs> obstacle avoidance kicking in. Uh, there's a ghost chasing you or what okay so i'm just gonna go and get a shot of the stadium again for all of you good i'm doing it with more off remember that okay and now i'm gonna do a uh little bit of point of interest type move oh Yendi Square I can see it right there in the background I should fly there someday and see if I can get this range or not okay <laughs> obstacle avoidance so that was <laughs> more off and now i'm gonna shoot video with a sunny day okay and keep it on the stadium and i'm just gonna make a panorama oh sorry point of interest oh Somebody's behind my quad at 135 meter altitude. Okay, so that was one clip. Now I'm gonna shoot one clip here, which with a wide angle of uh, river. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's not shooting. One moment. I'm going to turn around towards this side of the river and put the video to ordinary and record a clip going forward and moving to the right and yaw a little yeah that's the shot i want i'll keep doing the yaw until i have those tall buildings in the view Because that's where most of the lines are crossing each other uh, accord according to the perception of the eyesight and we will see if the more effect works there or not okay 
So that was an ordinary. Now with the buildings, normally you will see these kind of buildings have a lot of moir effect. So I'm just going to turn more off and uh, do a shot right here. So let's just do this kind of panorama. It's not panorama, point of interest on the buildings. And that's good enough. Now I'm gonna hit RTH. Return to home. Okay. That was a test of these new features. Now I have been told one more thing that uh, the altitude limit has been lifted from 500 to 800 meters. Now you can go up to 800 meters on Hubson Zeno Mini Pro. I'm not going to test that because before yesterday I saw a lot of J-11 fighter aircraft in the sky and they were about less than a thousand meters altitude. I can tell you that there was about less than a thousand meter altitude and they were circling around. So there is a military air base nearby my city now and they have these latest latest uh j11 man those aircraft are superb i saw them they are a very low altitude a beautiful was beautiful aircraft at a low altitude so those are flying around here i don't want to go 800 meters and then later end up in some you know shitty prison so <laughs> If you want to test altitude, please go ahead and do the test and you should be able to go up to 800 meters now with the Hubsan uh, Zeno Mini Pro. So quad is coming back. Now I have a 46% battery. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there, come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.